This is Comic-Con LA. We got a special VIP badge, so we are in here earlier than everybody else. We gotta get out of the way, because I think we might get stumbled over. All these people are pumped to get into Comic-Con. This is madness. And this is where we decided to come in order to find ourselves a TV. Not the place that you would think to go. LG Display knew that we were trying to figure out which TV to get for our house. So they said, we'll hook you up with a TV, but come to Comic-Con in LA and come to our semi-truck. Today I want to show you what's inside of LCD versus OLED TVs. And hopefully through this process, we will make the decision on which TV we want to get. And here we are inside of a semi-truck that is full of OLED TVs, showing the best of OLED. And in the madness of Comic-Con, we have it all to ourselves right now. Our TV that is gonna go in our main room in our house is somewhere inside of here. I'm about to show you something not many people have ever seen in their lifetime. The future of TVs, and it's probably a few years off, the future of TVs might just be transparent TVs. Look at this, look at that, girls. It's like, it's so weird that I see you. It's like you're right there and then all of a sudden, bam! Something pops up on your face and it's the TV. It's the TV just playing that. Okay, that is still just tripping me out. She's actually behind the TV. This is a transparent TV. If you look at it from behind, you can kind of see it. And OLED technology is what allows you the opportunity to be able to do this because of the way that the tech is inside of it. It's not like an LCD TV where the LCD needs all of these lights and all of these diffusers and everything inside of it. Every single pixel can turn itself off and on. And so it really becomes like self-emissive is what they say. You're looking right at the pixel. So if you have a room that you are going to have people potentially watching a TV, from the side or walking around and you still want them to see the beautiful image, that's another reason to choose the OLED over the LCD. Okay girls, so we have two TVs right here. I want you to look at them. Which image looks better to you? The one on the left or the one on the right? Both look good, but I think it's a little more realistic. This one is more clear and a little brighter than this one, because this one's a little more dark and kind of not blurry, but not as clear as this one. So there we go, we have an 11 year old girl and a 9 year old girl and they've already pointed out they like the OLED 4K even over an 8K TV that's an LCD. A lot of times people get caught up with the numbers, they're like, oh I've got to get 8K. This TV right here is the OLED and this is the LCD. If you remember we've done some TV videos, one of them was a plasma TV. Whoops. We also destroyed like a projection TV before. Over the last 20 years, the technology has changed a bunch in the different TVs. This is it right here. They've already done my job for me and taken it apart in a much cleaner way. And the thing that I really want to point out is the backside, this metal is incredibly thick. It's a heavier TV, it's bigger. You have it backlit in the very back with all these different lights. And then you have the diffuser plates and the reflectors and all these different things that are doing their job to project the image on the final screen that you see. And so if you have something that's really bright next to something that's really, really dark, by the time it goes through all the different layers and gets to the screen part of it, you're going to have some spillover with the white and the black, and it's gonna to mix together a little bit. Check out how bright these colors are right here. And this is on the OLED, and then look at the LCD. You can definitely tell that this doesn't look as good. It almost looks like there's Aurora Borealis going on right here. Okay, girls, next TV. It does look like a living room in here. Like, look at this room. It looks like nicer than our current house right now. This is another OLED TV. This one is a Sony TV that has the OLED technology in it. Go ahead and have a seat on the couch, girls. This is a 4K Sony TV. One of the unique things about this is that the sound is actually coming through the TV. So when I touch the TV, I can actually feel the vibrations from the sound. It's kind of similar to the speakers that we have inside of our wall, how it's like vibrates through. 100% real talk right now. The fireworks look even better than if you were looking out of your window and the fireworks were happening outside. Seriously, the darks are so dark, the night is so dark, and then you see the colors. It's kind of mind-blowing to see what OLED technology can do. It's so bright and so realistic, it's like, I thought it was real for a second. So you can actually see the smoke is what they're pointing out, just like you would in real life. You can see the little pieces of smoke that are there. I mean, that's ridiculous. 
So if you know anything about my wife, Leslie, she does not like having a TV in the family room. And if you look at our last house that we lived in where what's inside started, above the fireplace, there was no TV. We didn't have one except for it in the basement. I really, really think that our new house needs a big TV right there above the fireplace in the main entryway. We already have the speakers all set up. What do you guys think about this TV? It's cool. It looks like an actual painting. This is the 77 inch OLED, OLED paper TV. Paper TV. Looks like someone just taped a painting on a piece of glass. Which one's thicker, the TV or my cell phone? Cell phone. My cell phone is thicker than the TV. Isn't that crazy? Because look how beautiful it looks. Looks like just glass and then like maybe wallpaper over it to like show a painting. This one you don't even need a mount. You basically take magnets and you put it on the wall with magnets because it is so thin, because it's thinner than the cell phone. What do you think if we put this one above the fireplace? Would this one look good on the wall? Like we could just put uh, like a painting that we like on it. Painting that we like on it. Painting that we if like Leslie wants it to look like there's just art on the wall, she could do that with this TV. And then because the OLED technology is so vibrant and bright and the colors are so good and the darks are so dark, hopefully people will just think, oh, you have nice art on the wall. Leslie, that's my selling point for this TV. The one thing that I've kind of taken away from this experience of seeing different TVs side by side and seeing the power of OLED technology, it really is OLED or OLED. Like that's kind of your choices. Anything less than an OLED, you're almost doing a disservice to the actual footage that is going to be on the TV because you're not seeing it in its proper true form with the blacks being super black, the brights being bright, and there's no cloudy images like you would have from an LCD TV. Pretty amazing that we've had this entire semi-truck to ourselves while all the madness is going on right by the main stage of Comic-Con. This OLED semi-truck is taking a tour around America. It's going to 26 different cities. Take a look at the link in the description because I want you to see the 26 cities where this OLED truck is going. If you take a picture with it and you post it on social media using the hashtag that's in the description, then one of you will win a 65 inch OLED TV. And the second added bonus is that if you visit the OLED semi my truck every person that comes through is going to get a little voucher and if you go to Best Buy and you yourself buy an OLED TV everything else that you buy you get 10% off that's pretty sweet especially with the holiday season I know a lot of you guys are buying tech right now I know I've made a decision get up we're doing it we're picking out our TV we're going with the wallpaper 77 inch OLED wallpaper TV I think we need one for our family room and possibly one for the game room one for the game room